Hello, my name is Marcia Johnson and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And together with my grandnieces and nephew, Ashley, Allie, and Ryan, we are Marcia's Crafts. Today we're going to make this beautiful card. It uses um, floral essence and band together bundles. So let's go ahead and get started. To make this card, you will need the floral essence stamp set and the band together stamp set, just using the sentiment from the band together set. Also, we'll need the detailed bands, framelits, or whatever they are called, the dies, and we'll be using this little oval and this lovely die. We'll also be using the perennial flower punch for ink, memento tuxedo black, mossy meadow, crushed curry, and flirty flamingo. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get started. I want to apologize for only doing one video a week for the past couple weeks, but we've been really busy and stuff's happened and I'm pretty sure that's going to happen throughout the next month or two as my people are going away. The girls are going to college and the rest of the family is traveling towards Florida and they're thinking of moving there. I'm going to stay right here, but um, I'll miss them. Anyway, things are going to be in upheaval, and Ryan edits my videos, so um, he has to be where there's internet, and I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but we'll see. We'll try and make as many as we can. Okay, we'll get started with stamping, and I'm going to take the envelope, this um, flirty flamingo piece, and the inside whisper white piece, and we'll do those first with our Flirty Flamingo ink. This is a photopolymer stamp, so I will bring in my stamp pierce mat with a piece of paper taped to it to keep it clean. And if you wanna purchase any of the products needed to make this card, please do so at marshescrafts.stampinup.net. As always, we would appreciate the business. Okay, let's we'll first do our inside of our card, and I'm just gonna use this large image and stamp down in this corner. On the envelope, I'm gonna stamp down in the left corner. And on this piece, this flirty flamingo piece, I'm going to stamp all over. Okay. Also with flirty flamingo, the center of our stamp, and we're going to uh, try to get to the center of these. It's kind of difficult when you're doing on flirty flamingo and you can't quite get over the center, but I'll do my best here. If you don't quite make it, try again. Okay, that's good. Let's bring back our others. They're far easier to see. And it kind of matters more on the white, I think, than it does on the flirty flamingo. It all blends in. There, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, next we'll bring in our crushed curry and we'll bring in our piece of so saffron and we'll stamp this flower. Next, we'll bring in mossy meadow and our little piece of mossy meadow. And we're gonna stamp two leaves. Okay, and last, we're gonna do our sentiment in uh, memento tuxedo black. And as always, remember when you're using a cloth pad, don't just pat, your image won't be very good. You need to kind of rub and pat. Get a nice ink up and stamp that down. Okay, that's good. Next, we have a little bit of punching to do. We'll bring our punch and punch out our flower. I have a little arthritis in my left hand, uh, more than a little actually, and sometimes this can be pretty tough, but this is an easy punch. Okay, and then we have a little bit of big shot work to do, which is on our larger piece of the mossy meadow and for our sentiment, and we will just cut out our sentiment with this lovely oval. And using this beautiful die, we will cut out the mossy meadow. And of course, I've already done that. And it's funny, because the other day when I did it, I had absolutely no trouble 
with that intricate die. Today I, I had a little bit of trouble, but it wasn't too bad. And I, funny thing, I found the easiest way to get a good, uh, to get it where I could pull it out was to just use the regular pads, no precision base plate, only run it through once, not a couple of times because it seemed to get in there too tight and it worked, it worked fine when I just did it that way. And here's our sentiment. And then we are going to have to fussy cut our leaves out. If I can figure out where I put them. There they are. Okay, let me get a, a snips. I'm just gonna fussy cut one. I've really already done them. And you don't even have to be, you know, that close. Just, it's just real easy. Just go around the edges. It really doesn't matter much what you do. The idea to get a smoother cut is to move the paper and just with your scissors hand, all you do is go move the blades up and down. It gives you a, a much nicer cut. Okay, I'm not gonna do the other one. I'm just gonna pull in the ones I already did. And we have just a little bit more to do and it's time to assemble. I'm gonna bring in our Wink of Stella and I'm going to color the petals here. I'm also going to color the flower on the envelope and the flower for the inside of the card. It just gives it a little shimmer, which is kind of nice. Then I'm gonna bring in my bone folder and take my flowers here and holding tight at the base of the petal, just give it a little pull to break the fibers and make it curl a little bit. Okay, then we're going to take one set of petals and put a little glue on the back of the other one and put them together to make our flower and just set that aside to dry and we'll start assembling our card. So we'll bring in our card base, which is So Saffron, and we'll put the inside piece in. Go ahead and put the um, mossy metal layer on the front with just a tiny border around the edge and then we'll lay that aside and bring our flirty flamingo layer in and we're going to mount that oh wait we're gonna take our designer series paper and mount that on a piece of mossy metal that's just a little bit wider than it is so you just get a tiny little border there and it's flush on the side which just a tiny border top and bottom at least if you get it lined up properly, it's flush on the side. And then we're going to put our lovely flourish layer on. Decent amount of glue on the edges and in the middle. And then just a little bit on parts of this to just keep it from getting caught on the envelope. Okay, and it's just a little bit longer or wider than... Um, our other layer so lay it down um get it in the center mine's actually a little wider than um than the dimensions of the one in the description below all of our products and um, dimensions will be found in the description below and so what we'll do is we will just take this and we will snip off these little extra pieces from the back those out of the way here and then we can go ahead and mount this on our card you could put it up on dimensionals but I chose to because I have the dimension of the flower I chose to leave it just flat quarter of an inch maybe a third of an inch down from the top something like that okay we can go ahead and put that on the front of our card now and then we'll put our um, sentiment on and you could also pop that up but I'm gonna I'm gonna go with flat. We've got a lot of layers here. I think that's enough. And that just fits right in there. Beautiful inside and out. That's a lovely sentiment. Actually reminds me of my niece Ashley, who's going away to school now too. So um, both our girls are gonna be in Ohio. Gonna miss them. And she is truly beautiful inside and out. Okay, for our flower, I am gonna use a dimensional. And I'm gonna put it right about I think about there. Then I'm going to take the leaves, put a little glue on the back, and just tuck them in. And as a final 
little added thing. We're going to take one of these faceted gems. This is the, these are the, I think they're gold faceted gems. Yeah. And we're going to stick that right in the middle of our lovely little daisy or whatever it is. And there we go. That's our card. Hope you enjoyed making it with me. And um, again, if you'd like to purchase anything, feel free to go to marshescrafts.stampinup.net anytime for anything. There's the original. Here's the newest one. Thanks for your time. Hope to catch you uh, when we do our next video. Not sure when that'll be, but probably sometime next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.